Good morning, it's Thursday the 25th of January and if you have your Bibles, turn to Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32, Ephesians 4 verse 32, trust you got a decent cup of coffee. Hmm. Awesome. Ephesians 4.32 says, Be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving each other, just as God in Christ also has forgiven you. And you know, I was thinking about the forgiveness of Christ and the disciples on the, the night before, the night of Jesus' arrest and betrayal and and all that happened, he took his disciples and took them up into the upper room and and washed their feet. And it was those feet that wouldn't stand with him when he was arrested. They all fled into the night. And in a sense, Jesus was saying, you know what? I'm going to forgive you for something that you haven't even done yet. I'm going to be so compassionate that before you even realize that you're going to do some harm. And remember, Peter says to him that night, Lord, wash all of me. And he says, all of you doesn't need to, but your feet need to. Because your, our feet lead us into so many wrongful decisions and wrong places. It's good that we are here, where we are going to go. But what is important is that is the forgiveness of God is vooraf besluit. It's decided beforehand. And I've said this before. Why don't you put three cards of forgiveness in your pocket or in your wallet uh, uh, figuratively and uh, look for three opportunities to be forgiving in each day. And if you don't, if you don't use them up, then keep them. There may be another day where you need five acts of forgiveness. But decide beforehand to forgive. Be kind to one another. Decide that. Today I'm going to be kind. Be compassionate. Forgiving each other. Why? Because God in Christ Jesus has forgiven us. Isn't that an awesome, awesome thought to take with you into this day? So go into today not with condemnation, not with thoughts of everything that you've done wrong and how weak and how stupid and how insufficient you are in God's eyes. Go into today knowing that God has decided already in Christ Jesus to forgive you. What do we need to do? We need to repent. We need to actually admit with God that that which we've done is wrong and give it to Him and allow Christ's forgiveness to cleanse us, just as he washed his disciples' feet the night before. Uh, they actually fled and abandoned him. Interesting thought. Have a wonderful Thursday. Hey,